November 6th at 10.25 a.m. Greetings everyone, it sticks me here and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Detroit Become Human. Yeah, first of all, I wanna say go check out the Assassin's Creed Mirage playthrough. If you're interested in that, it's on my channel here available now. A couple of episodes already released, so yeah, we are playing there of the Master Assassin difficulty with full synchronization on. And now we are here with Kara and Alice. We let Alice rest and we stand up and read our magazine available here. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare. No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. You must be starving. You should take a bath, and then we'll go out and find you something to eat. What do you say? Okay. I'll run you a bath. Alright. Can we already read it? Uh, nope. There on the table is a magazine. look outside what is happening there I guess not all right so we take a haircut Accessing AX400 options, select new hair color. We have blonde, white, black, and a finish. Let's try black. Black is kind of cool. How about white? It's more of a gray tone. Is it? Blonde. I think black it is. Yeah. She's watching some TV. You really look like a human now. Thank you, Alice. So let's read. Your bath's ready. Cyber White Life. First Android Zoo opens. Cyber Life is set to open the first Android Zoo in Los Angeles, which will exhibit all exotic species to have become extinct in the last 30 years. Loot turtle, polar bears, mountain gorillas, African elephants, and silvery species of tiger will be among the most high-profile attractions. Cyberlife CSR spokeswoman Daniel Carnegie said to the zoo caters to people of all ages and has a special mission to educate and inspire the younger generation about the importance of protecting our fragile environment. Though some environmentalists have claimed the zoo will diminish, uh, diminish popular concern of the extinction of real animals, it's difficult not to be enthusiastic about technology being used to recreate vanished species. The animals themselves have yet to be unveiled, but the cyberlife promises they will be more real than the real thing. No doubt an ideal weekend trip for the family. I guess so. And Canada, Canada still Android free zone. Yeah. Yeah. You think so. 
Despite the United States voting in its Androids Act as early as 2028, the Canadian Parliament has yet again pushed back its decision on whether to permit Androids in the country. As a result, Androids are still not sold in Canada and have no official status in the country. With Androids continuing to fear and precedent grew in the US economy, yet contributing to record levels of unemployment, the arguments for and against putting them to sell in Canada rages on. But for the time being, Canada remains an android free zone. I guess it's to fear unprecedented. Unprecedented. Blah, blah. So, we can look at the beautiful picture of Detroit here. And what is my main task here? Wait for Alice. Oh, we can look outside here. And we are seeing absolutely no one. What else can we do? Nothing. Oh, we can. Sports. Thanks, Michael. I'm joined by Corktown resident Todd Williams, who was violently attacked by his AX400 around 11 p.m. last night. Todd, can you tell us what happened? I was having dinner. I was minding my own business. That damn thing jumped on me. I managed to defend myself, but it would have been crazy. I thought it was going to kill me. So I fought it off, but it ran away. Thank you, Todd. Disturbing news for Android owners everywhere. Police have launched a search to find the Android. Let's hope they find it fast. Lies. It's not true. He's lying. He's the one who tried to hurt us. What are we going to do? We have nowhere to go. And the police are looking for us now. Do you have any family? Anyone who could help us? No. It was just Dad. We can't stay here. We don't have any money. That android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. Yeah, maybe. We can't change the past, Alice, but we can decide the future. We're going to pull through, and soon all this will just be a bad memory. Correct. Correct, correct. Finished getting ready. I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. Uh, yeah, I guess that with breakfast is over. Lieutenant <laughs> Anderson, Detroit Police. Looking for a female android robbed a store down the road last night. You seen anything? An android? No. I don't take androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Fuck. I knew there was something weird about her. She came in last night. She was dressed normal, you know? There was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 28. Thank you. 
Investigate Deviant Trail. Search Motor Room 28. Hank is warm, that's what we want. You wait in the car. Uh You're going to need me, Lieutenant. I know more about androids than you do. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. All I want is to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. You wanna see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> but I guess everything gives us negative points for Hank. Reach train station. Sneak past cops. All right. Why can't we go through here? Oh, we can. We can our one perfect, perfect. Perfect. Let's try not to take too much attention there. L1 Where have we to go? Oh. I hope the policeman here don't turn around Perfect, uh, L1. That was hella close. I guess we made it. Great, we got run, Kara, run. Kara and Alice escaped the police. Perfect. Reach the train safely. Perfect, perfect. So here otherwise are the house and the parking lot. Is there the other two? Oh, we, we missed something in the motel room. All right. Oh, 
Or we looked at the painting, we looked outside, but we missed something else. All right. Maybe on the next time. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have been tested for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no longer. Here the heck we are. Here, here we are. We have to find that logo there. Look for the graffiti, yes. It's here, obviously, but first of all... We have to read. Symbolize a fortune teller computer. Hmm. All right, and Cyberlife has unveiled a new quantum supercomputer capable of exaflops, one billion billion operations per second, the equivalent of a several human minds in a single machine. The computer was specifically designed to analyze fast data from various sources and generate predictions. Philip Seymour, Cyberlife's director of Futurology, is highly confident. We've been testing for a while and the results are going to wow people. The computer will be used to calculate the probability of mass extinction events, such as aggressive alien invasions or global climate disasters like meteors or superviruses. The computer can um, help us to anticipate the pair for such calamities, ensuring humanity is never caught off guard. Despite doomsday predictions from those far full that AI is gaining too much influence already, many experts are hailing this as a quantum leap in applied artificial intelligence. And Android astronauts to explore I.O. NASA announced the launch of a five Android crew to explore I.O., one of Jupiter's satellites. The journey will last three years and ex and is expected to teach us much about the formation of our solar system. Though not the first androids in space, this is the first all machine crew proving that androids are sufficiently or here reliable to be entrusted with the entire mission. Androids are an extraordinary asset for the conquest of space, said Michael Shelley, director of NASA. Cosmic radiation destroys human DNA. Humans suffer many effects from long-term space travel, while androids are immune to most of these issues. NASA confirmed no return journey was planned and that the androids would work f uh, on AO for several months before being destroyed by the extreme conditions of the planet. All right, that's kind of sad, but kind of good for for the humans down on Earth, for the NASA, but sad for the androids. So here it is. Glue updated. Find this graffiti. I will. I will. Later in a rush, huh? Do you know where Jericho is? Uh-huh. 
So let's try to find those two symbols. One is here. And the another one is down here. Clue updated. That's what we want. Yeah, we already see this from here. Are we cool? Yes, we are. So. And here it is. One. And the another one is here. Blue updated. Perfect. And now we have some robots. Hey man, can you help me out? Is this in the flow chart? With the man as entered the way to Cherico, that's the one, but not that we got pushed by and not pushed but ran into us but that's not here on the flowchart crazy so there it is oh uh there on two and the third one is there but we have to crouch through here We have to push this away. And now we have here our third one. And our clue is updated. Two and the third one is upstairs. So we take this, we can climb up the roof. There it is. Clue updated. Exactly what we want. Yeah, basically we're doing this shit. Oracle City. One, two, and there's the third one. Blue updated. Now we have to get inside of that. Perfect. So let's pre construct again. And now let's take this route here. No. So this one up here, yes. We go up here. And we have 
this way and this way. This way is better. Because it's open at the front side, we can hang on the back side. You will see now what I mean. We are climbing up this one. Go through here. We wall jump on that edge and now you see we can climb up there. On my first playthrough I thought there is some kind of ladder. But it isn't. So and here it is. We have to position like here. And you see the yellow, uh, the orange markings here. That's the symbol. And now we have to get through here. Wrong button, wrong button. Oh no. <laughs> and here the heck we are. One of the most beautiful moments in game history. I love it. I love it. Yeah, that's maybe not so safe anymore. Yeah. Let's try another way. No another camera angle available, only this one. This is just beautiful. The leap of bait. Alright, why that failed, I don't know. Yeah, maybe uh, we should take the flashlight here. You can run through, it's no problem. Oh, it's not here already. You can run through, it's no problem. 
Perfect. Thank you. Jericho. Yeah, welcome. Perfect, Jericho. Eighty-six percent completed. Oh, we have to find the flashlight. All right, what did we miss? Up here, something. Explore abandoned office. Oh, oh, I, I, I maybe know what we missed. Oh, we. Okay. We missed every, uh, everything of that. I don't know what this is. Oh no. Alright, but I say here is the end of today's episode. I say thank you very much for joining in today. We see us on the next episode. Until then, cheers.